The Team Lolly Show was previously recorded. It's time to enter the world of real estate in Oahu with Hawaii's only true real estate radio show, the Team Lally Real Estate Show. Grab a pen and get ready to take notes. For the next full hour, Hawaii's premier real estate leader, Adrienne Lally and Attilio Leonardi, will bring you the latest in real estate news and real-world strategies on how they can guarantee to sell your home at a price and deadline you agree to, or they'll buy it. Now, here are your hosts, Adrian and Attilio. Welcome to the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold program, or we'll buy it. If you have any questions, just give us a call at 799-9596 or check us out online at teamlally.com. Hey, everybody. This is Attilio, and this is that art part of the show, Attilio's Random Thoughts that I think about during the week and then bring them to you right now. Here we go. I would say that the number one skill that uh, everybody needs to have is... I just demonstrated it. Did you see it? What was it? Uh, you were quiet. Yeah, it's your ability to listen. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, when you get to a point in your life, and again, it's a work in progress for everybody, but uh, Eckhart Tolle, I think he he was read this in his book called The Power of Now. He said he was sitting at a park. He noticed two ducks uh, in the in the pond or the lake that he was sitting in front of, and they just were like going at it with each other. And then they stopped, and then they kind of swam away, swam away from each other, and then kind of shake off whatever, the water, this or that. And then they came back, and then they were swimming next to each other. And what he, what the point of that story was that a lot of times we get into conflict with people, and um, those ducks have figured it out real quick that you just have the conflict, you brush it off, and you get back to each other. Whereas I see families... They'll be like those ducks and they have that conflict and then it's years and or never before they get back to each other. So what Eckhart Tolle in his book, The Power of Now, he's a philosopher. The point he was making is like really learn and work on that skill or that ability. It's, it's a learned behavior. It's not something that comes naturally unless you're a duck. And there's a saying about ducks. What, do you remember what the duck? There's two common things. That we have a saying about how to treat life in regards to a duck. Do you know what those are, Adrian? Well, when we look at ducks, <clears throat> we see that they are very calm at the top. Yeah, above the water. But above the water. Yep. But then underneath, their little feet are just paddling. Paddling so like fast. crazy. But you can't tell that that's happening. Yeah, because at the top. The, the... Yep. And then the second analogy that we use ducks is like, you know, when you come across challenges in your life, with, there will be. Mm-hmm. I have a news flash for you. There are always going to be challenges in your life. You know when those challenges stop? When you're dead. When you're taking a dirt nap. <laughs> no more challenges after that. Mm-hmm. Go to any cemetery and you see the most peaceful people on earth. No more worries. No more things. No more relationships. Not caring who's the president or the next president. Whatever. No worries there. And so the lesson also from ducks is like when life, when life, when you pour water on a duck, do you know what happens? Does the duck get wet? No. Do you just, know why they don't get wet? It rolls right off. Yeah, in between their feathers, they have these fine little pieces of down that pretty much create like a waterproof jacket. Mm. And so the water represents all of our challenges and the feathers and the down in between. If you pour, if you look at it, the water is just beating right off of the duck. So the saying is like like water off a duck's back. Uh, that's how we should go through life. Mm-hmm. How we actually go through life is we're like the pissed off duck that that won't just shake it off. Okay? So that is your lesson for today. As Bruce Lee would say, be like a duck. No, he says be like water. Mm-hmm. But you get the point. And when you don't allow either things, situations, or people... To have power over your emotions, as Martin Luther King will say, has been famously quoted as saying, free at last, free at last, you'll be free. So with like all these little stories and examples that you're giving, um, we were just talking about this earlier, I think in the the car, about um, one of the benefits to being part of a team. Yeah. Where when things are going sideways 
and maybe you bring in the sideways <laughs> specialist and you just don't know what to do and that person on the other side is not being a doc um you know we've got other a lot, people on this we've team. got a lot of support yeah. to help you know get through these you know challenging situations Speaking of challenging situations, we're looking for somebody to be our new listing manager. Mm -hmm. Our current one <coughs> is uh, uh, we have we have Howard who's been with us from the beginning, so he's he's uh, coming off years. the bench, yeah, coming off the bench to be in that role temporarily uh, as backup quarterback. But we need another quarterback. You, this is the person that helps uh, coordinate getting properties ready for sale, pictures, all the marketing, this and that. And uh, gets it into the multiple listing service and helps the, with helps with negotiating the counter offers yep, and getting it yep. into escrow. So that's mm -hmm. that's what they do in a, a simple nutshell. Fifty k to start W two employee. That means you get a paycheck every two weeks. Health benefits, bonuses, bonuses, and then more, most importantly, we'll pay for your F forty five membership. That's a gym membership, so you can stay stay fit. fit. Stay yeah. fit. Where you're part of a, cult, a team that's all about culture. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had listing manager from day one, almost 20 years from now. So it's not, we're going to slow down and then fire you if that's your concern. Don't need to have a real estate license. Eventually you will need to have one. We'll help you with that. But, uh, I do know that the number one brokerage that realtors are moving to on Oahu is what brokerage, Adrian? Uh, they are hanging their license up. There's it's no, Uber, no it's, brokerage. It's just Uber or yeah. Lyft. That's where everybody's going to because of the NAR lawsuit, the high interest rates, Whatever. Mark, yeah, it's things challenging. Are, things are different now than things they were different. a couple years ago. You got to do this yep. crazy, wacky thing. You got to be an extreme professional. So, you know, some examples that, you know, like uh, to Leo and I, we are still involved in the business. Yeah. You know, we take still lists. Working with yeah, we still directly. work with clients. And I mean, there was just two, two listings that we've had recently. Both. We sold the homes four times. Yeah. And what that means is that, you know, we had gotten into escrow with four different buyers. Yeah. And so, you know, it's just obviously we do our best to keep the deal together. But, you know, with with Taca how pasa. Yes. Yeah. That's Spanish for blank happens. That's right. But I will tell you this right now in every real estate transaction, buy, sell, even if it's between family stuff is going to happen. And I substitute the word stuff for another word. Mm -hmm. But stuff is going to happen. And before you flip out and go you know, shut the front door, uh, get the truck out of here. You're going to call us and, or be thankful that you're involved in that transaction with us. Cause we figure it out. Cause we're like ducks. That's right. We're like we ducks. paddling like crazy below the surface, calm above the water line. And when stuff comes our way, it's like water off a duck's back. And we're like Bruce Lee in the transaction. Be like water. So on that note, I want to share. Be like Bruce Lee if he was from Waianae. I want like to. I want to share a review from yeah, go ahead. Christina Wilkin. So Christina says, I recently referred a client to Adrian and Attilio and the rest of their team to sell a house in Hawaii. I couldn't be more impressed with their work. They did an amazing job addressing my client's needs, dem demonstrating great communication skills, and providing overall excellent service. The entire real estate transaction was seamless and stress free. Thanks to their professionalism and attention to detail. My client was thrilled with the outcome, and I'm confident that anyone who works with Adrian and Attilio will have a similarly yeah. positive experience. Highly recommend. Hey, Adrian, would you yes. like to know how to get one step ahead as a seller? Uh, like, who wouldn't want to get one step who, ahead? Duh. Yeah. All right. So, as supply grows and buyers regain negotiating power, so what that means is supply is going up. Homes are sitting. Mm -hmm. uh, when supply is up, demand is down, pricing starts flattening or softening or start going down. You may want to do some select repairs before listing to get ahead of the things. A buyer may ask you to fix. Adrian, by the way, how do we make it easy for a seller to figure out what they need to do to their property to get it ready for sale? Well, that would be the upfront home inspection. What's, yes. another, what, uh, what's another way? Well, we walk through. We go to I the mean, property. I mean, we're not professional inspectors, but we do know what, and, the, what, what, and we know what gets a home sold. So, I mean, there's certain things that we're going to see just from, you know, our expertise and being in this business Here's 20 plus years. Here's the difference. Yeah. A home inspection is to tell you all, is for allow you to have the due diligence done mm -hmm. to protect the seller that a third party expert came in and expected 
because we're not going to be. Are we coming to their house with a voltmeter and checking all the outlets? No. I are mean, we running the dishwasher and no. checking the temperature on the air conditioning in the refrigerator? No. Mm -mm. That's what a home inspection does. We do recommend that. Yes. But what we're going to do is we're going to come to your house and we're going to walk through it. Mm -hmm. 20 year veterans in the industry, over 1,800 transactions. We're going to tell you not what's on the reality show of what you should be doing to your home because it's not real mm -hmm. we're going to tell you based on the experience these are the things that you should be doing by the way projects with the best return on investment this is just from an article from a company called bank rate mm -hmm. garage door replacement 193.9 i don't know how do they even come up with well, these numbers? i mean i would say like so for example i know we had a yeah. listing where the garage door was kind of like you know busted up Janky. and yeah, yeah and so we had it painted yeah. and it did look much nicer okay. because that is one of the first impressions. It's the first thing they see. As buyers walk in, like, you know, they come up to the property. It's like, the, when yeah. they walked up to the that's what they see. Entry, speaking of first impressions, yes. entry door replacement. Return, cost recouped based on what it costs and what you got on it in the sale, 188.1%. Mm -hmm. Vinyl siding replacement. Not as if you have vinyl siding or, you know, you just... I would say that probably be the uh, like the same as painting the outside yes, of the house, which we do H, recommend if you've not H done it recently. Vac conversion. What do they have? Electrification. What are you gonna put one electrical fence around your house? No, you can't come in. No, it's just making sure your HVAC is working, is nice working, and cool. serviced, and then roof replacement. Fifty six point nine percent. Before you spend money on costly upgrades, be sure the changes you make will have a high return on investment. A good real estate agent, Adrian. You know any? Yeah, I That's know. Us. I know a couple. We know that the, we'll know what local buyers expect and can help you decide what needs doing, and what doesn't. So before you like get all crazy with your honey do list, on the top of the list is called call Adrian and Attilio, and with no obligation, no high pressure baloney, come to my house. And tell me what I should be doing to my house to maximize the return should I decide to sell it. And if you know more money, do we have a program? No more we money do, program? We do. What's the no more money program? That would be the 10K for upgrades. No and way. I just want to also point yeah. out too that it's never too early to get, you know, just to get started. So if you yeah. know that you're going to be selling the next, you know, couple years, um, you know, we can walk through and give you some pointers so you yeah. can prepare. If you're going to sell this home two years from now, mm -hmm. we'll come visit you right now. Yes. No obligation, no nothing, no whatever. We'll give you the to-do list. You, the only thing you have to lose is that you didn't have us come visit and you started doing all of this stuff. That, that doesn't give good return on investment. Exactly. Yes. So let us help you. Now, that's different from the honeydew list because mm -hmm. that keeps your family happy. Yes. So we'll do all that stuff too if you want. Uh, but if you want to kill two birds with one stone. No, if you want to cook, cook two two pigs in one emu pit, in one uh, emu pit, then maybe we can recommend the stuff that makes your that makes your family happy. But then also we'll give you go ROI. Speaking on ROI on your future, on your future, and what's going to happen with your assets? Who is that person that can keep them happy on what's going to happen with your assets? That would be Amphi with the estate. Planning group. Yeah. Amphi. Amphi, are you there? What's your tip of the week? Hey, how's it, guys? Yeah. Hello. Oh, Attilio, I don't know about happy, yeah. but I would I would say maybe peace of mind. Yes. There you go. <laughs> peace, you of know, mind. peace of mind is happiness. <laughs> Namaste. Uh, yeah. True, true. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so what you got for us with the in the estate planning world? Uh, first of all, what is estate planning in a sentence or two? Uh, it is really an exercise in your liberties you want to control what happens to your things when you're alive and well yeah when you become incapacitated you want to fully control what happens and how it's used to take care of you and your family and then when you pass away how it's now provided to your family i you know i want to unpack something you said because everybody thinks oh i got to put this trust so that you know my family is not all fighting at the gravesite. Uh, but you said the word incapacitated. What do you mean by incapacitated? How this can help you? So if now you don't have something in place mm -hmm. and say, God forbid, you get into an accident, you now have a disability, you, you suffer from some mental, like incapacity, excuse me, like some cognition issues, yeah. Alzheimer's, dementia. If you don't prepare, okay, so you're deemed incapacitated because you're not able to make decisions. 
because of the conditions that I just mentioned earlier. In that event, now, say he had accounts with an institution, all those things now would be frozen because institutions are not going to work with somebody that's incapacitated. Mm. And in order for your family to access these yeah. funds, they actually need to get the court to appoint what we call a conservator. It costs money, wastes a lot of time, very unnecessary. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to put your what you just said through the, my pigeon translator. So let's say you're driving down the road and your car went holy maka flip, but you never maka die dead. Uh, get this piece of paper that you went put together before you got in the car that told your family what you should be doing to take care of you so you don't end up in the care home with some grouchy caretakers. <laughs> All right, keep going. Oh, or, or yet, <laughs> when you're in that place, yeah. now somebody, your family, yeah. can still go to your bank and then take money out, <laughs> pay for your house, pay for your mortgage, yeah. pay for the kids. But not green bottle. Else. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because unless they're celebrating. They no. won't be able to. <laughs> yeah. yeah or unless, going, unless you put that in your instructions. They're not cleaning out your yeah. checking account so they can go buy cases of green bottles and go Vegas. Mm-mm. They're there to take care really of you, to take care you and your stuff. Yeah. Okay. So that's why right. it's important to have this estate plan, regardless of if you have a home that you own or not. Right. Yeah. I think that's a, a myth where people think, I've got to own a home in order to have this you know, will and his trust. If Amphi had on commercial, he would be like, all right, here, don't take my word for it. Uh, here's one of my past clients. His name is Kimo, uh, Kimo uh, Kamaka Viva Ole, and here's what he had to say. Oh, you know, when I sat down with Amphi, I was so glad that I put this piece of paper together because I was driving down the road, my car went huli maka flip, and I almost went maka die dead, but I never, and good thing I had all the instructions for my family because they was going to have a big beef but we never, and we had it all figured out. I'm glad to say I'm back up and running, and uh, I'm a better driver because of it. <laughs> so, <laughs> that'll be the testimony on your commercial for people to take care of their estate planning. Uh, talk, you know, bring it home for people. People just, they're like, they're hearing this, and I'll tell you right now, they're not going to take action until you kick them in or call it. Talk about families that you come across that didn't do this. What yeah, happened? Give us some examples. What happened? Uh, you know, I, this is something that's, for my office, like yeah. it's a daily occurrence where, you know, we have families come in and at this time, I go, it becomes too late. Yeah. Right. The, the preparation was more important because now when you do crisis planning, it's never a good plan. Yeah. And it's so different from when, when we are proactive, if you want peace of mind. And that goes for every single one of us, Attila. I think I shared that so many times mm-hmm. ago. If you don't plan, there's going to be a plan for you, okay? yeah. and then sometimes it's going to work. And in my profession, in the daily work that we do, it doesn't work because yeah. that's why the families are here. Yep. So, yeah. so I can't say that enough. If you have a, you have children, you have special needs loved ones, yeah. you have property, I go, you got to do at least some type of planning. Yeah. I think it's important, yeah. too, because I... Uh, you know, I'll speak to it from personal experience. I have Amphi. I, I did one a while ago with his company, and then I'm updating it because things change over time. Mm-hmm. Things change over time. There's people that, you know, you're like, oh, boy, they, uh, they, they, they're they not fun to be around. I've taken them out of that. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't do any of that stuff. But, uh, but your, uh, your kids are now all, you know, adults. So yeah, I tell no, them, no hey, minors, so. help me with this chore around the house before I write you out of the will. <laughs> but... <laughs> They don't believe me, in they, but they, they help me. Anyway, the point being, the point being is that I've done this myself personally, and I, Amphi isn't just telling you stuff and making it up. I do feel more at peace that I've taken, spent the time and money to go do this because if you care about who's going to be left after you're gone, then do the right thing and go sit down with Amphi. If anything, just have a conversation with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and, and I'm, I'm actually helping one of your team members now with nice. one of um, the families that she serve. And this is pretty typical, you, you know, where <clears throat> like um, a family member, yeah. okay, a matriarch, she wanted to protect the property, decides to, you know, put one of the family members on the deed, forgot about it 20 something years ago. And then now um, the property is stuck in probate because... Ooh. 
in her thinking, she goes, I'm going to protect it now by adding somebody. Yeah. And I go, Some, sometimes, many a times, that's not the best way to do it. Yeah. I go, in these situations, and this goes for all our homeowners, I go, instead of just thinking I'm going to add somebody on, I would highly, highly recommend they speak to an expert, an attorney that would be able to do what they want to accomplish. Yeah in a manner that will not now cause a lot of problems. Yeah. Now, something that could have been taken care of in, like, say, a trust, um, drafted, not even, you know, less than $1,900. Now it's going to take months and time and a lot of effort, a lot of expenses. And a lot of heartache for the family. You know, relationships yeah. could be lost. And or ended completely forever and ever unless you, if I can, yeah, you think, oh, Atilio, are you guilt chipping me for go do this? Yes, I am. Get it done. Make the appointment. Work on this with, work on this with Amphi. Amphi such a giver like anybody, but I mean, we're recommending Amphi because Amphi's worked on our stuff and we trust them with something that, um, you know, will maintain and preserve the relationships of all the people we love after we're long, long and, gone and, or and, incapacitated. And protect the assets. And protect the assets. Yeah. So super important to call Amphi and his team. So uh, Amphi has a degree. He has a, he has a s- continuing education certification called CYA, <laughs> Cover Your Assets. That's right. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I was like, where are you going with this? Uh-oh. Hey, 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 it's a family show. It's a family show. Well, thank uh-huh. you, Amphi, for calling in and the reminders to all of our listeners. Yeah. Get, get, your, get your affairs in order. Get your shiitake mushrooms in order. That's right. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Amphi. Thank you, Amphi. Have, have a blessed weekend. You thank too. you, Adrian. Thank you, Atilio. You're Hello. welcome. All right. So, so yeah. Amphi is who? He is with Estate Planning Group. He's um, part of our. He's part of the experts we trust. Experts yep. we trust. So if you go to the resource tab on resource team tab. on teamlally dot com, you'll see the drop down where you can click on experts we trust, and there's probably a, a video there that we've done with Amphi and yep. all his contact info. Yeah. So um, yeah, please get a hold of him. We trust hey. him. He's awesome. Did you want to talk about our deal of the week? You know what we got to yes, do? Yes, before we take okay, the break, wait. we're going to talk about the deal of the week. Okay, but so yes. that we can make it easy for yes. repackaging and putting on other radio stations. We're going to say it real fast and get it done in like, what, 30 seconds? All right, let's on do it. On your mark, get set, go. All right, list price, 1.125. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 start again. You got to read the first line. Deal of the week, the collections in Honolulu. List price is 1125. Two bedrooms, two bath. Luxury living, sophisticated condo, expensive bedrooms, electric window shades for effortless comfort. Lots of views, breathtaking views of Diamond Head, the ocean, and cityscape. Amenities, pristine pool, full-size gym, 24-7 front desk. It's pet friendly. They got parking, two parking stalls. And EV. EV. Woo, prime location, steps from Honolulu's finest restaurants. And showings, private tours available by appointment only. Lister must be present for all showings. Experience the ultimate blend of elegance and convenience in this upscale urban paradise. All right. Right, deal of the week, That's and actually, week. and and I just want to point out one other thing. Yeah, it is priced to sell. I Price think it's like sell. fifty thousand dollars below the next one there in the building. Yeah, the two bedroom go, in the building. Go check out this unit. As soon as you walk in the door, you're gonna go, "Gee hoo!" Yeah, I want to buy it. It's priced very well. Yeah. So are we gonna take a break? We are. So, um, when we come back, we'll be talking with Bradley Mariama of All State Insurance. We'll explore essential insurance updates. Highlighting key insights to ensure your home remains protected. We're begging you, please stay with us. Come, my lady, come, come, my lady. How would you touch up your home if you had an extra $10,000? Would you paint, fix the lawn, make small repairs? All of the above will increase the value of your home if you're planning on selling. That's exactly why my friends Adrian Lally and Atilio Leonardi of Team Lally Real Estate Group of Keller Williams, Honolulu, offered a 10K program. Carr didn't hesitate to take advantage of this advance to fix up his Makakilo investment property. And good thing, the repairs he made with the extra money put the home in escrow just two weeks 
weeks later. Team Lally uses programs like the Team Lally 10K to guarantee your home sells at the price and a deadline you agree to, or they'll buy it. They also know that life happens, so if needed, they'll let you out of the contract at any time. So when you need to sell your home for the most money with the least amount of drama, trust Adrian and Atilio of Team Lally to do the job for you. Call 808-799-9596. That's 808-799-9596. Visit TeamLally.com. Spell Lally, L-A-L-L-Y. Hey, Sean Hannity here talking with the only real estate agent in your market I recommend. Adrian Lally and Attilio Leonardi of Team Lally Real Estate Group of Keller Williams, Honolulu. Now more than ever, buyers and sellers need an expert to navigate this ever-changing market. And what do you do to stand out? Hey, Sean, we are a team with over 500 plus 4.9 star reviews, over 1,600 transactions under belt, and 20 years in the business. It's going to take a lot of resources to get a home sold today. What kind of programs do you offer? Sean, we offer the guaranteed sale, instant offer close in 12 days, 10K for upgrades, love it or leave it, no hassle listing. No matter what situation the client is in, we've got solutions. Great update. Thank you for keeping us informed. Put the most experience and the best marketing to work for you. Call Team Lally now at 799-9596 or online at TeamLally.com. That's TeamLally.com. Taking one cash offer for your home doesn't have to be your only option. I'm Barbara Corcoran, and especially in today's current market, having a local real estate agent who offers great marketing and options that are customized to fit your needs is smart. In Honolulu, the agents I trust are Adrian Lally and Attilio Leonardi. They can give you a guarantee to sell your home flexible fees or up to $10,000 in cash to help with repairs. Get the option that's right for you. Go to TeamLally.com. If you're looking for an outstanding insurance agent that will personally help you during the moment of truth, we recommend Bradley Maruyama with Allstate Insurance. So, Atilio, what do you mean by the moment of truth? Well, the best insurance is the insurance you never have to use, but we know that's not how life works. So when life happens, you can count on Bradley and his team to exceed your expectations for your insurance needs. Keep in mind that when buying a home, the cost of home insurance should be taken into consideration. I trust Bradley with my own personal home, so you should give him a call. Call Bradley with Allstate Insurance at 591 Six. Tired of waiting two, three months to finalize your home loan or refinance? Jody Tanga and her team at Pacific Rim Mortgage have a turn time of 30 days or less by processing your loans locally. Take advantage of today's low interest rates by calling our good friend Jody Tonga of Pacific Rim Mortgage. Her personal cell is 488 488- Five five one zero. That's four eight eight five five one zero. Hey Adrian, guess what? What it's Leo. Jody has a huge secret. Oh yeah, what is it? I can tell you. Yes, you can. Okay, here it is. Jody has a free home buying guide that reveals insider tips others may not want you to know. Wow, how do I get this free home buying guide? Easy. Just go to her website, PacificRim.com. That's pack or P A C R I M N T G dot com. I see the free home buyer guide has valuable information that can help me avoid mistakes and could cost me tens of thousands of dollars over the lifetime of my loan. Yes. So check out their site. That's uh, PacificRim.com or give her a call at 488-5510. That's 488-5510. What's the website? It's PAC, P-A-C, RIM, R-I-M, Mortgage, M-T-G, dot com. Hawaii, NMLS ID, 103254. Welcome back, and thanks for listening to the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the Guaranteed Sold Program, or we'll buy it. I'm Adrian. And I'm Atilio. And uh, if, before, go ahead, sorry. If you have any questions, you can reach us at 799-9596, or check us out online at teamlally.com. So as I was so rudely trying to interrupt I Adrian know. to talk about, yeah, is so our rude. website called, well, she's still grumbling. Go ahead, I you am. done? Okay, no, okay, I'm she's not, done. I'm never done. <laughs> is join is jointeamlally.com. We have a whole series of videos of Adrian grumbling. No, what we got on jointeamlally.com? Well, there's open positions. So we are actively hiring for, so we have some administrative positions, which include W-2 with benefits and bonuses. Yeah. And then we also have um, open positions for buyer agents, listing agents, and we will train you. Yeah, outside agents, inside agents, all of that yes. stuff. We have some. We have an 80K guarantee. If you don't make 80K in your first year with us, we'll write you a check for the difference. And you're like, oh, that's a bunch of baloney. No, it isn't. We'll put it in writing and we'll sign it. That's right. Uh, and we've been doing that for years. So uh, go to jointeamlally.com. <clears throat> if you want Miller Lite on that, go to hawaiicareernight.com. What is hawaiicareernight.com? 
So I think it's like the first week in October. I think it, I'm not certain of the date, but we do have a career night yeah. coming up. So if you want to just um, come visit us in person yeah. and hear a panel of different people within the team, within the industry, we're actually going to have uh, Duke, Duke Kim Han of Hawaii yeah. Pacific Property Management has agreed to come out and talk yeah. a little bit about the property, property management, property management yeah. side of things. And in fact, they're also hiring. They're well. looking for people. You yeah. think all you got to so, do is... Property management, sales, like we got you covered. Give yeah. us a call. 799-9596. Yeah, back of the house, front of the house, middle of the house, everywhere. Anything in, in, in the real estate industry, we'll get you placed if you're humble, hungry, and smart. All right, thank yes. you. Yes. All right. All right, you know what? There's like, also I want to talk about before we... Um, bring, bring Bradley on. Yeah. We have our celebrity home of the week. Yes. So Ellen DeGeneres strikes a deal selling her $96 million dollar Southern California estate to a billionaire mining tycoon. Yeah. Wow. That's a that's a big sale. The off-market transaction was part of a property exchange between the former talk show host and Singaporean billionaire Robert Friedland. You don't sound Singaporean. Well. You sound like he's from Manhattan or something or Jersey. Yeah. Uh, well, how, let's talk about the home. 9,000 yeah. square foot Tuscan farmhouse style mansion with five bedrooms, eight baths, a marble mosaic pool, two spas, and private beach access. This thing is set on a bluff overlooking the Pacific. The sale is part of a continuing real estate exchange between Degeneres Friedland, who previously who previously uh, bought another property from a couple for $32 million earlier this year. Speaking of people that uh, make you feel like you're sitting on the bluff look, overlooking the Pacific Ocean, who's that? That would be Bradley Mariyama of Allstate Insurance. Hey, Bradley. And I'm just going to do a quick little intro oh, yeah, on Bradley. I mean, I know he calls in and he gives our tips, but I want our guests to really understand who is this Bradley Mariyama. So he is born and raised in Hawaii, completed his Bachelor of Business at the University of, of Hawaii at Manoa, reflecting his deep roots and commitment to the islands. As, As the owner of Mariyama Associates Allstate Insurance, he brings over 20 years of experience in the industry, has built strong relationships with local families, Understanding their unique needs and challenges, please welcome back to our guest, Bradley Mariyama. What's up? Hello, hello. What you got for us this week, Bradley? Oh, okay. Um, there's um, a lot of people that are struggling um, to find homeowners insurance when yeah. they have prior claims, that their roof is bad. Mm -hmm. We got a market. So, um, you know, I've tried to reach out to some of our mutual partners and let them know but we do have a product now where if they do have multiple claims and can't get insurance yeah uh, we do have a carrier that can fulfill their needs and this product we have actually has hurricane embedded into it so initially i was quoting this product and i was like oh my goodness it's so expensive but it does include the fire the wind the sudden and accidental pipe burst and hurricane so it's everything all in one and so and week, and it, stuck, we got a problem. Yeah. And, and you're saying that like if it's you know a, a person that's had the multiple claims and is having a hard time getting insurance, this is kind of like maybe like the hard money type solution of insurances. Like it's a little yeah, bit more expensive. It's a, it's a solution. It's but you know like at least you'll be covered, right? Because yeah. you can't get a loan without the insurance. Yep. Yeah, and the reason why it's such a big tip is I've seen three properties fall out of escrow. You know, they reach out to the to the brokers. The brokers can't find anyone, even through surplus lines. So what yeah. a surplus lines company is, is somebody that will take the higher risk properties. Mm -hmm. um, but we've been coming across where RPS is an example of a surplus lines company, and they're not even considering insuring these properties. So... Um, you know, there was a there was a older couple in their 70s. They had Hartford. Um, they had two unfortunate water claims. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so they got discontinued. Um, I was able to place them with RLI, which is a standard carrier. But due to the roof age this year, um, RLI was not exist uh, was not wanting to uh, renew the policy because the the roof wasn't redone since 1985. Ooh. Wow. So Since I graduated days, from high school. Uh, that's a long, that's a yeah, old that's time. That's a long you know, time. You know, but being, being in their mid-70s, they're on fixed incomes. They don't have 50000 to fix the go roof. and yeah. put on a property. Mm -hmm. And so I was able to give them an option for 
let's see here, well, it's $4,400 per year, but that included hurricanes. So at least yeah. they have an option. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But here's step two, because she, she brought something interesting up to me. She said, Brad, um, you know, my, my, in my eyes, my roof is still in good standing. So yeah. I, had, I had to break it down. There's two, there's two sides to every story. And in this case, a lot of carriers don't want to insure these older roofs because an insurance is paying premium, but when there is that roof loss and they decline it due to wear and tear, yeah. the insurers are not they're not happy because they're like, Brad, I'm paying premium and now the carrier is declining my claim mm-hmm. due to wear and tear. That's not fair. And that's yeah. why a lot of these carriers now are saying instead of getting to that unfortunate issue of going to the Department of Insurance because we're declining a claim due to wear and tear, um, they're not. They're just not accepting it until they have an acceptable roof. So yeah. there's two sides to the story. The carriers are wanting to take roofs that are in good standing because they don't want the, the uh, insurance to pay premium and get a decline claim due to wear and tear when yeah. there is a loss. So that's, like- that's the background story for Paying for insurance for your brand new 2003 Toyota Tacoma, the bug is cherry, but in reality you got a 1987 Toyota Tercel. <laughs> They're not going to replace your 1987 Toyota Tercel with on 2003 Toyota Tacoma, the bug is cherry. Uh-uh. So you got to make sure you're, yeah. you're getting insurance for what you actually have as far as your roof condition. And I get it; it doesn't make sense because everybody's like, oh, get the insurance, then I get new roof. No, it's Get the insurance to preserve your roof if it's in good shape should you need it to be replaced, right? That sounds fair enough. Yeah, I tell you, that's a, that's a perfect example yeah. because that 2003 Toyota and Tacoma yeah. could last 20, 30 years. Yeah. But in those 20, 30 years, that owner probably had to change a clutch. Yeah. They had to maintain and probably change the brakes. You know, so there's... The insurance policy isn't made just to go and fix the problems. Someone's got to actually maintain the house. they got to maintain their cars yeah. um, on their side. It's not just the insurance that's yeah. going to replace and fix fix everything. Oh, yeah, and a couple of batteries because the damn teenagers, they keep leaving the dome light on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so Bradley, I know that when we have you on for these uh, longer segments, yeah. we like to remind our listeners about the moment of truth. Yeah, what is that moment of truth? Let's it's like, talk about that. The moment of truth. What is the moment of truth? We just keep saying it over and over. Because it's important. Yeah, so, what you is know, it? It's, it's, <laughs> it's the most important part of insurance. The moment of truth is yeah. um, all you listeners and insurers out there are paying an insurance company and insurance agent premiums every month, every year. And the moment of truth is to make sure that your agent and your company is going to come through when you really need it. So that's something we pride ourselves ourselves on, our office, but especially me. Yeah. So, you know, every once in a while I get these insurers that say, oh, you, you, I'm getting a call from Brad Mariama finally. Yeah. But they don't realize that day in, day out, I'm, I'm dropping people off at a body and fender shop. Yeah. Or I'm climbing on a roof to do an inspection to give a, second opinion of why this claim might not be covered so i take claims to to heart i want to make sure that if we're declining it you know i want to be able to give the insured a a reason why it's not covered yeah or if there are a a whittled a whittled um insured that if they don't have uh someone to take them down to the binding fender I'm here. I do those kind of things to make sure that they feel special when they're filing a claim that we're going to go over and beyond at our at our, yeah. at our office. Awesome. Well, I, I want to give a, a quick example that just happened hey, Adrian, this week. Adrian, could you give a quick example that just yes, happened this week? Yes, I will. Okay. So, I mean, we're in this um, very long escrow uh-huh. with all these extensions. Oh, yeah, I remember. It's very um, just complicated. And anyways... This other insurance person was uh, given instructions to provide the in- insurance binder. I believe it was like last week. It was like five or six days ago. Yeah. And no one had heard from him. He went and to Thailand. Who knows where he went, but there was no communication Most at all. Most likely Thailand. Probably. So anyways, there was, you know, like the conditions, right? The conditions, one of them was 
um, a, a transfer of a solar lease. The other condition was homeowner inspect the homeowner insurance. Yeah. And so we're doing everything on our part with this whole solar stuff. Well, Jerry's in like, Thailand. I'm like, hey, like, why don't we have docs? Why don't we have docs? Why aren't we? Don't yeah. have we the final approval? What's going on? Oh, what we're, happened? we're still waiting on the insurance. And I'm like, give me this insurance guy's information. And I'm like calling and texting and emailing nothing. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? We need to just call Bradley. He's our guy. He will respond right away. He's super responsive. So boom. I text we Bradley. We got Bradley on the phone. No, it was like Monday night Monday at like night. 8.30 at night. 8.30 at night. And I'm like, there is an insurance emergency. Insurance emergency. We get a hold of Bradley. <laughs> Bradley. Bradley gives you an answer like my cousin from Waianae. Oh, horrors. I can fix that. And he did. Yeah. Right away. And then like finally the other guy responded. He's like, oh, I was on vacation. Yeah. Like at least have a vacation responder on. Like or informed wait. In office. So yeah. anyways, um. Yeah, like had we just been using Bradley to begin with. And again, like we're on the list side. So, you know, this was a, an, another agent. So hopefully this other agent hey, will, will use Bradley in the future. I, I just want to point out that yes. we're, we're not saying, Bradley, don't go on vacation. But here's what I do know. And you Bradley me, has a Cali, though. You you correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> like what? Like, uh, uh, like He's uh, got a whole team. He's got a team of eight people. But you're saying like Cali, like how gangbangers say California. It's a person. Yes. Yeah. That's his person. Like. You just if you can't get a hold of Bradley. Boom, you call Cali. He has a team. Yeah. Is the point. Same thing with Adrian and myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we're on vacation, you're with Bradley and his team. Your insurance binder needs do not go on vacation with Bradley. Exactly. Yeah. And it doesn't delay your loan because your insurance agent's on vacation and yeah. not communicating. Yeah, in Thailand. Wherever. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just want to compliment you, Bradley. I, you know. I wasn't expecting you to just jump on it at 8.30 at but night. Right but on, pop calm. But you did. And we thank you and appreciate you for, you know, how responsive yeah. you are. And Because are, would you yeah. say that that was a moment of truth? Yes. I think so. And um, you, you should never wait to the last minute for these insurance binders, by the way. That's and not, there you have it, my honor. You, uh, yes. Your honor, we rest our case. <laughs> <laughs> but but Case don't dismiss. you guys so short. You know, yeah. I think we've all through the twelve years we've built a really yeah. good team and a lot of trust. So if I do see you calling me at eight thirty at night, I know it's an emergency. I want to yeah. make sure yeah. I, I help you guys out because it does go both ways and mm-hmm. I I really truly appreciate uh, yeah. Adrian and Atilio's partnership. So yeah. for the listeners out Ex- there Except that one time when we called late at night, and I was like, you know, taking my 16-year-old to go see de- the new Deadpool movie. Do you think it's appropriate? <laughs> Bradley was right on. He's like, no, it's not appropriate. No, uh, he did say it was appropriate. Just no, it wasn't. Of, lots of bad did language. Did you know that was a Disney movie yes. that has the most F-bombs in it? That's true. Look it up. <laughs> well, it's just F-bombs. Yeah. Anyway. It's okay F-bom- for a 16-year-old. You know what F-bombs, F-bombs is? F-bombs is what you say when you don't get yourself insured with Bradley. That's right. That's it. <laughs> All right. In the moment of the F bomb. No, no, no. We're gonna still go with the truth. In the yes, moment of truth. The moment of truth. And just for the record, we do not abuse that relationship. It only we only reach out to Bradley when it is when it is absolutely an necessary. Yes. All right, thank you. Well, do we have anything else from Bradley? Um you know what, Bradley? Oh, Bradley. I, I want to talk more about like because this is kind of a hot topic that the we're, we're seeing. Time yeah, up. the association insurance and all it's these getting crazy super out there. big increases that we keep seeing. Like Talk to us about that. What's, uh, what's this going one lady? On? She lives in one complex. She said her maintenance fees went up like they doubled, doubled because of insurance. What the heck is going on out there? Yeah, I know that it's a really hot topic. And yeah. what I do want to share with you, there was a town. I'm gonna um, send Adrian and Atilio the uh, YouTube link of the town hall mm-hmm. that had the insurance commissioner. It had um, a couple, uh, four politicians that. Formed the committee for Hawaii, as well as yeah. um, yes, and, and some association experts that kind of break it down. But here, this is uh, what's going on in a nutshell. Yeah, um, across the country, we've experienced a lot of catastrophic losses mm-hmm. from hurricanes in Florida to tornadoes in Kansas, wildfires. Mm-hmm. In California and yeah. Maui, Lahaina it's, fire. Yeah, it, last year was I think they specified twenty four catastrophic losses. Mm. And so what that means to us is that with all these losses, insurance companies have an insurance company. Yeah. Okay. 
That is so. Allstate has what's called a reinsurance company that ensures that if there was uh, mass losses, that there's going to be insurance over and above what Allstate can cover. Mm-hmm. That reinsurance company, because of all these catastrophic losses, their pool of money has dried, has dwindled. Yeah. So they increase their rates to these hurricane carriers and homeowners carriers. When they increase their rates to a Lloyd's of London or to an Allstate or to a First Insurance, those rates were passed on were trickled down. Yeah, tr- trickle down to the AOA insurance carriers. Okay, so what what that what that did was some some AOA insurance carriers have increased their rates six hundred percent. Ho. Okay, so um, what does that mean? Now the maintenance fees have gone up. Mm. Okay, now to keep these costs down, some of these insurance carriers gave the associations an option to, number one, increase their deductibles. Yep. Or number two, cut the replacement cost and hurricane coverage. Reduce coverage, increase deductibles. Yep. Yeah, so there's now there's two issues that come along with that. If the deductible in an association goes up to fifty, seventy five hundred thousand, uh huh. What does that do to the HO six or to the unit holders condo policy? Get one gap. It puts up exposure. <laughs> Get no, one well, gap. It, it gives <laughs> it gives the exposure to the HO six or the condo owners policy. Yeah. Yep. Um th- there's a lot a lot bigger exposure now. If there's a loss, um, that HO6 policy now could be subject to a $100,000 loss. Ooh. Now, a $200 condo policy that's exposed to $100,000 in losses, now it's becoming lopsided. So yeah. the severity and frequency to this individual HO6 policy that you're only paying 200 a year for it's not profitable to an all state, a state farm, yeah. a first insurance. So what happens? The rates go up. Mm-hmm. So now you're seeing HO six policies that once once upon a time was two hundred a year, they're five, six, up to a thousand dollars a year for these individual policies. Yeah. So that's one problem. It's the trickle down. Yeah. But let's go back to the issue of the associations cutting replacement costs and hurricane. Mm-hmm. When they do that. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac will not lend on these properties. Because hmm. there's so not enough insurance. Of, so you're like eliminating. There's not enough insurance. Yep. Yeah, because they, have conforming, gui- they have conforming guidelines, and these would not be within that conforming guidelines for their insurance requirements. Yes. Yeah. So increasing AOL, um, the increasing premiums, have caused this trickle down effect for the HO six individual policies and for the cutting the replacement costs in hurricane because yeah. they have to lower that six hundred percent premium increase. What do we do? They panic, mm-hmm. right? Uh, well, what are we going to do? How do we keep the cost down to our unit holders? And so this has now been a trickle down effect of what's yeah. going on um, in the industry. Yeah. So it's not you know I think people feel out like oh how come it's me? No, it's everybody. I thought I saw. I thought I saw like one of our team members sent us something about like the governor was now getting involved with um, some of these uh, insurance issues. I didn't really read through it, but I did see that there's you know definitely uh, well, political involvement now trying to solve this uh, this big challenge. Well, at the like end of the day, you still have buildings. economics. So yeah. no matter what, the, how they want to legislate this or that, mm-hmm. carriers then will have a choice to get out of the market, and it'll make it worse. <laughs> governor, if you're listening. So make sure yeah, that so, it's a uh, combination think, of economic sense as well as legislative constituent sense is the point. I think yeah. um, in a nutshell, what they're trying to do is to make sure that they can fill the gap of these um, properties that are underinsured. Yeah. Um, and I also believe, don't quote me on this one. I hope I'm not talking out a lot. It's just your opinion. I, I it's just your opinion. <laughs> I think they're trying to come up with some solutions for associations to get loans yeah. to be able to fix their pipes, fix their roofing, yeah. update their electrical, get sprinkler systems. So 
a carrier will reduce these premiums. So I think that proclamation is mainly to give um, options for yeah. associations to get uh, a better premium on their association insurance yeah. policy. Bradley, always remember, you can always start everything with, if you want to cover your assets, uh, in my opinion, and then go, 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 go. <laughs> now, the one thing that you say, in my opinion, like, oh, your baby real ugly. That's <laughs> not going to take, you're not covered in that one. Bradley would never say that. <laughs> <laughs> Such a nice guy. But, but I'm going to share yeah. um, that link uh, yeah. with Adrian and Atelier. We'll put it on our website. Probably go to their site. Yeah. It's just a YouTube, um, and it, and it kind of talks about the programs they're coming yeah. out with. Cool. Um, it'll give you, in layman's terms, what's going on. With the associate, basically what I talked about, but they have some specific uh, facts that they're going to yeah. throw at you of what's what's causing all this uh, ruckus. Yeah, and it's just something to keep in mind, making sure that uh, as you're out there looking to buy real estate, that you're being aware and being it's being brought to your attention by your agent. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to sell, just be aware that those also increases will affect the sales side. Again, supply, demand, price, they're all interconnected. And we're seeing the trickle down in all those economic factors uh, with the increase in insurance. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Bradley, we are uh, reaching the end of our show. Is there Thank any? You so much. Is there any uh, final words of wisdom you have for our listeners before we let you go? Besides, don't call your friends baby ugly. Yeah. What else you got? What don't other words that. of wisdom you got? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, I talked to some of our partners, and yeah. what I would always go back to, you know, is that whether it's me or your insurance agent, review your policies because that's yeah. what we talk about the moment of truth, right? Yeah. It's always, I wish I had jury coverage. I wish I understood what my hurricane deductible was. Yeah. Review it with your agent so you're, you're, you're clear. The clear understanding yeah. is there when you have to file a claim. So review your policy with your agent. Work with a local agent that understands the differences. You know, in the mainland, it's jewelry. In Hawaii, it's jewelry. And I would also say if you can't get a hold of your local agent, give Bradley a call. And it's like no obligation. High response rate. High He's response very rate. responsive. Yeah. He's right. friendly and very patient. And, you know, if he can offer you something that's uh, is better yeah. or, you know, just as good, then, you know, make the switch. Yeah. It could be more better if you call. Bradley. Bradley. Local boy, born and raised. Yes. All right. Thank you, Bradley. Thank you, Bradley. We appreciate right, you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Again, Brad. Bye -bye. Yep. That's Bradley Morayama of Allstate Insurance. He's, he's at, been an expert we trust for a long time, huh? Ten since, years. You know what? He's been, since the beginning of the since the beginning since the beginning of the radio show. I think In the beginning, like 12, there was Team Lally, and, and then Bradley. Bradley went support us. Yes, he's always. Hey, yes. Speaking yes. of which, if you consider selling a home, it's crucial to understand what a home inspection involves and what inspectors focus on. Yes. Next week on the show, we're going to talk about home inspections for sellers mm -hmm. and how to prepare what an inspection does once your house is under contract. An inspector will assess the home's condition and what do they look for. That's what we're going to cover Yes. on our next we, show. We call it the J1. The J1. All right. Well, thank you for listening and thank you to our sponsors. Jody and Derek of Pacific Rim Mortgage. Bradley of Allstate Insurance. Kenji with Pillar to Post Home Inspections. John with Kilauea Pest Control. Duke, Kauai Pacific Property Management. Robinson of Fine Line Paintworks. Amphi with Estate Planning Group. Jason Wu, Attorney at Law. Rhino with Hawaii Unified. Janice of Dreamhouse Drafting. Fabio, Hawaii Water Damage Restoration. Jake with Go Local Power. If you want to get a hold of any of our sponsors, just go to teamlally.com. We also want to give a big thank you to Leah Rodriguez, our producer here in the studio. Chee-hoo! Make sure to tune in next week. We'll have an awesome guest talking about something that will change your life. Forever. This is the Team Lally Real Estate Show, home of the guarantee. Sold program. program. If we can't sell your home with agreed upon price in our time frame, we'll have it bought for cash. Thanks and aloha. The preceding program was sponsored by Team Lolly.